In this video tutorial we'll see how to use CAT uh, to perform a principal components analysis PCA uh, on a small set of data that were obtained um, from a, an experimental design, in particular a central composite design. Uh, here we have a brief description of the system that was studied. Uh, this is a chemical transformation, a chemical reaction from two components A and B uh, to give the desired product uh, and uh, four different unknown impurities. Uh, we selected three variables, uh, solvent, temperature and base. Uh, each one studied at three different levels, minus one, zero and plus one. Uh, in this uh, other table we have the uh, full matrix uh, with the, the first column uh, that uh, is the, the, the tag uh, of uh, the experiment so uh, each row represents one experiment the first three columns are um, columns from B to C to N D are the uh, variables columns and from E to J are the responses um, here the numbers were retrieved from HPLC uh, chromatograms uh, and uh, the, this is the area percent. Uh, we imported this uh, uh, matrix uh, to CAT uh, and uh, the matrix is called CCD1 and we can see here uh, the, the, the full matrix. So the first uh, column is uh, the, the names, uh, the tags of the rows. Uh, we see the names of the columns and uh, here uh, we see all the response, the, the columns of the responses and the variables. Mm, the responses are from column 4 to 9 and this is important for, for what we see uh, now. To perform a PCA on this uh, uh, set of data uh, we go to the PCA tab and uh, we go on with model computation and PCA. Uh, we have to indicate the name of the matrix uh, CCD1 and here we understand why the name of the matrix should be uh, simple and short. Mm, we perform the analysis on all the rows uh, and uh, the columns uh, are 4 to 9, so the columns that uh, uh, contain the responses. The number of components uh, is 5 and is appropriate for this kind of uh, data set and we select the center and scale as per treatment of the data. This way we obtain the uh, variance explained by each component expressed as percentage. Here we have the value for the five components and uh, we can have the same information in the form of a plot uh, using again the tab PCA plots and variance. We select the scree plot and uh, as you can see uh, we have the uh, first component at 66%, uh, the second component at 28%. At, uh, uh, we, uh, from this graph uh, we also uh, can understand that uh, in this case the first two components uh, are the uh, most important, the important ones to describe our system. And this is uh, mm, mm, derived uh, from the fact that uh, the uh, slope of uh, this, uh, this graph changes uh, in, in correspondence of the second component. Another kind of plot that uh, is uh, really useful uh, again in PCA plots uh, is the loadings plot uh, and we select the scatter line um, plot type again scatter okay uh, we select the first two components uh, to be used as the x and y axis and in this case we select the column names as tags of the points okay uh, here we see uh, how the different responses are uh, positioned in this uh, loading plot. And for example, we see that uh, three of the four uh, unknown impurities are quite close to each other, so this means that uh, the behavior is uh, uh, quite similar in the system and mm, that uh, uh, these three responses are uh, correlated. Uh, we see these other a couple of responses that uh, are in a different region and uh, again 
the two responses are correlated and uh, uh, another observation that we can uh, have from this uh, plot is that uh, the angle that is formed between these two groups uh, passing from the center um, is almost a 90 degree uh, degrees uh, uh, angle. This means that uh, these uh, groups of variables uh, are uh, not correlated. And here, uh, this is uh, uh, the, the, the real information that we can retrieve from this, uh, uh, from this graph is if uh, uh, the response, uh, two responses of a group of responses are uh, correlated, as in this case, not correlated, as in this case, uh, if the angle is uh, around 90 degrees, or anti-correlated, if uh, maybe the, the angle uh, is uh, um, 180 degrees. Uh, we can now go on with uh, another kind of uh, plot that we can retrieve, uh, again from the PCA tab, we use plots and the score plot. We select the 2D score plot. Again, we have to select the two components uh, for the x and y axis, and in this case, we select the row names as uh, the tags for the for the points. We give OK. Uh, first of all, we see that uh, this small uh, window appears, uh, and we can. Um, it is better if we. Uh, decide something or save or cancel. Uh, this is helpful uh, for other operations, so we give OK and uh, we have here the score plot. Uh, here all our experiments are uh, drafted on this, uh, on this plot and um, for example one of the observations that uh, uh, we can uh, we can make uh, is related to the points uh, uh, 15, 16, and 17 that are the replicate at the center point. Uh, here we see that the uh, experimental variability mm, for the three points uh, uh, that are uh, replicates uh, under the same conditions is uh, mm, really small if compared to the experimental variability of the all uh, the experiments uh, of the uh, experimental design.